For everyday people who have only graced a screen via Snapchat stories, it can seem almost unbelievable that anyone can forget that they're being broadcast on live television. Though for celebrities, being in front of the camera is just part of the job description, or more so, just part of life. Being filmed all day every day might make cameras seem like they're just part of the furniture, and push boundaries concerning what they deem as appropriate behavior to broadcast to the world. This does leave us with some entertaining television, however, so I'm glad so many celebs feel comfortable enough to forget they were on camera. Today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 times celebrities forgot they were on live TV. Number 10, we have Doja Cat and her vape. During the 2022 Grammys, Doja Cat missed her Grammy win announcement for best pop duo performance for Kiss Me More because she was in the bathroom. After five minutes, the singer rushed to the stage and she proceeded to throw her vape on the ground before delivering a hilarious speech. If my song was nominated for a Grammy, I wouldn't have even thought to leave several segments away from mine in fear of being late. SZA, her collaborator in the song joked at her saying, girl, you went to the bathroom for like five minutes, are you serious? And Doja responded, I have never taken such a fast piss in my whole life. Doja has now declared that she's been vape free for 70 days via a recent Instagram live stream, and although she's been seen partaking in it since, quitting is hard and I hope more people are able to follow her lead in trying to kick the habit. At number nine is Kristen Stewart's SNL appearance. It's common sense these days that you're not allowed to swear on live TV. Uh, this doesn't stop the use of profanity though, and hey, it's hard to speak differently when you're so used to speaking however you like. In Kristen Stewart's 2017 SNL monologue, she accidentally dropped the F-bomb. This received shock looks from SNL cast members Kate McKinnon and A.D. Bryant, but they quickly laughed it off because it was funny and it's a comedy show made for adults. Kristen followed this up by quickly covering her mouth and changing the subject to the musical guest of the night, Alessia Cara, and finishing the rest of her monologue without any further issues. Kristen handled this well, given that if I messed up on the SNL stage, my hands would probably not stop shaking for hours, but She's a professional. Coming in at number eight is Meghan McCain and Joy Behar. The daytime talk show The View is known for its feisty conversations between co-hosts. Sometimes things get so heated that I wonder if those ladies even like each other. It seems that they most likely just tolerate each other as co-workers, especially after Meghan McCain told Joy Behar it was her job to listen to her on the show. This comment came about over a heavy political disagreement. At one point, Joy interjected Meghan's rude comments by saying, hold on, I've listened to you, just let me finish, which caused Meghan to shoot back, yeah, well part of your job is to listen to me. I wonder if she understands that listening is most always a two-way street. Being a host of a daytime talk show or even simply an employee at a job, it's important to keep your cool even when things get intense. Megan making this immature remark is evidence she clearly has gotten too comfortable at her 9 to 5. And at number 7 is Kesha's rejection. In the year of 2010, it was almost impossible to go a day without hearing the generational anthem, TikTok by Kesha. We were led to believe that would be the most famous piece of media to ever be labeled TikTok, but look at us now. I guess Jerry Seinfeld was asleep for the early 2010s because he didn't recognize the star at all during their first meeting in 2017. Giving people hugs is great, but it's usually best to avoid putting people on the spot about giving you one. On the red carpet at the National Light of Laughter and Song in Washington, D.C., Kesha approached Jerry Seinfeld while he was giving an interview and insisted on giving him a hug. Jerry declined the hug thrice, which made Kesha visibly disenchanted, but shortly after, walked away. Jerry turned back to the interviewer and quipped, I don't know who that was. Boundaries should always be respected the first time they're made, and it's never a great idea to persuade someone into hugging you, even more so if it's a stranger, and especially if they're obviously busy. At number six is Jessica Simpson on The Allen Show. Jessica Simpson, known best for her SNL lip syncing mishap of 2004 that almost ruined her career. Simpson was able to salvage her reputation enough to go on The Ellen Show in 2017. Being a guest on a talk show is obviously nerve wracking, and some celebs deal with this differently than others. During the episode, Ellen DeGeneres generous attempted a normal conversation with the singer, but unfortunately, she couldn't stop slurring her words and forgetting her train of thought. Later on, she openly admitted to getting a bit drunk before the show. She managed to get through the interview, but it's never a great idea to inebriate yourself before going on live TV. Why would she do this on purpose begs the question if she may have partook in some partying and forgotten about the appearance altogether. Or is something happening we should perhaps be more worried about? Number 5 is Jennifer Garner on Late Night with Conan O'Brien. It's easy to get sidetracked during a conversation especially about what's right and wrong, even if the argument stems from grammar. You'd think that being on live television, you might put a pause on the language police tendencies, but not in Garner's case. In her 2003 appearance on The Late Night with Conan O'Brien, Garner corrected Conan on his use of the word snuck, for she did not believe that was a word. For a moment, the audience applauded, causing her to feel like her comment was correct, but Conan always comes out on top. Later in the show, he brought a dictionary out on stage and revealed the word snuck is a word, obviously. To think of putting yourself in a situation that doesn't need 
need to happen about something you can't even guarantee is right is incredibly bold. Especially since Conan is a Harvard graduate and probably has a better grasp on the English language than most of us. If you're a Harvard graduate, I probably wouldn't even correct you on what color the sky is, because what do I know? Number four is Drew Barrymore on The David Letterman Show. Drew Barrymore was once known as the innocent young starlet, decided to rebel against those perceptions during her appearance on The David Letterman Show in 1995. David asked Drew about her 20th birthday, and she became very excited recounting the details about her party. She got even more excited when she reenacted her birthday party dance scene. To acquire perfect accuracy, Drew jumped on David's desk and started dancing. In a quick turn of events, she suddenly flashed herself in front of David on air. He was in shock for a moment as Drew then got down off the desk and kissed him on the cheek. This instance of borderline live harassment makes me wonder if Drew had any forethought that this moment would be on the internet forever. But it was the 90s, and live television was new or something. So maybe she had no idea. And number three is Zac Efron at the premiere of The Lorax. Efron being the star of many children's movies stunned an audience on the red carpet of The Lorax premiere where he stars as the character Ted. The red carpet was going smoothly, but Zac decided that he wasn't able to do his best work posing until the contents of his pockets were emptied and he could go back to putting his hands in his pockets. Since, his, since the jeans were so tight his legs could barely fit in them, it makes sense that he might have had to make some room for his hands. He quickly made his way to a group of ushers to hand them the items, and all was well until Zach's shallow pockets betrayed him. As he took his hand out of one of the pockets, he exposed a condom he had kept stored on him, and it would then fall to the ground in front of him. He quickly swooped down to pick it up, but not before thousands of cameras had already picked it up for him. Zach mouthed something to his publicist, and though we can't hear what he said, his humiliation was clear. He then said in his interview with Today, I never really had a pocket checking policy prior to going on the red carpet before, but now we fully instated one. Maybe checking your pockets is good practice before going on live TV. Our runner up is another F bomb, but this didn't happen somewhere light hearted like Rockefeller Plaza. But instead, this one raised the stakes by happening somewhere behavior seems to be a bit more serious the Oscars. In 2011, Melissa Leo, accepting her award for Best Supporting Actress in the movie The Fighter, dropped arguably the most well known F word in live TV history. While talking about how Kate Winslet had made accepting Oscars look easy, she added an untimely intensifier. This was not able to be bleeped during the broadcast due to it happening so quickly, and later on, Leo appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show and told the host, What I do know, I thought later on, after it caused such a stir, is I was talking to Kate and remembering two years ago when I had been at the Oscars and this past summer I got to work with Kate Winslet, and she's delightful, but curses like a sailor all the time. And our number one spot goes to none other than Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey is known for being a diva on stage and not caring all that much about mishaps that happen during the performance. Carey has been accused of lip syncing countless times and doesn't necessarily take it with pride, but the singer definitely just rolls with what's going on while on stage. No one can take that from her, and some may say that's the key to being a professional. During New Year's Eve 2016 in Times Square, Carey stumbled through a complete catastrophe of her song Emotions and We Belong Together. It was clear that all of her vocals were pre-recorded tracks because Carey's mouth barely matched up with the words. Her half-hearted lip syncing alongside her tired dance moves makes it clear that Mariah just stopped caring about the camera broadcasting the events to many homes around the world and just decided to make it through her job. There's been talk of technical issues, more specifically that Mariah's earpiece did not turn on and thus she was unable to make her cue. It's difficult to come to a conclusion of what exactly happened on that dreadful night of New Year's Eve 2016 or how many people were let go of their job because of it. The criticism reigned in and all that was directed at Mariah was quickly shipped to the organizers of the event who simply claimed that everything was working fine on their end. Mariah appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live soon after, calling the performance a perfect closer to a particularly crummy year. This was in 2017. Little does she know that far worse was just on the horizon. Carrie was able to redeem her singing abilities live on Jimmy's show, but I don't think anybody's disputing the fact that she can sing, it's more so that she just does whatever she wants at those New Year's Eve performances. And that is our top 10 times celebrities forgot that they were on live TV. Let us know if we forgot anything in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.